Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make my version of a cucumber salad. It's gonna be light, refreshing, and the perfect summertime side dish. We're gonna go over the ingredients and then we're gonna make it. We're gonna need some good quality Greek extra virgin olive oil, some red wine vinegar, a few radishes, lemon, a clove of garlic, a little bit of sour cream, some Greek yogurt, fresh mint, fresh dill, a little bit of water, and some English cucumbers. So I've already cut the tips off the English cucumber and I'm gonna cut it into very thin slices. You can also do this using a mandolin, but it really is so simple to do if you have a sharp knife. Now I'm using English cucumber because the seeds are much fewer and much smaller than regular cucumbers. Persian cucumbers would be perfect for this as well. And I like to leave the skin on just because it adds beautiful color and texture. Put them all in a large bowl once the slices are cut. And now it's time to move on to slicing our radishes. The radishes are great in the salad because they add a nice peppery bite. And we're gonna slice these very thin as well. We're just gonna chop up the mint and the dill. Always use very fresh herbs when you're making salads. Now we're gonna make the dressing for the salad. We're gonna put the Greek yogurt in here, the sour cream. Now these flavors might be familiar because they're all in tzatziki. Sour cream and yogurt make a very rich tzatziki sauce. And so I wanted to carry that idea over in this salad as well. I'm also gonna put the herbs in here. Now we're gonna grate this garlic clove on here so it could be very nice and fine. Just melt into the sauce. We're gonna thin this out with a little bit of vinegar, about two tablespoons or so. Also a little bit of lemon juice and some olive oil. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt, some ground black pepper, and I'm just gonna to switch to my whisk and I'm gonna whisk this all up. I'm gonna add a teaspoon or two of water just to thin it out just a little bit. The cucumbers will release some water and the sauce will thin out eventually, but I want it to be easy to incorporate into the cucumber so you don't want it to be too thick. And the best part of cooking, go in and give it a little taste. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Now we're gonna put the dressing all on top of the salad. If you wanted to, you could definitely chop up, finely chop up some red onion or some shallot and put that in here as well for some more depth of flavor. And just mix this all up until the cucumbers are covered in that luscious, creamy sauce. And just like that, the most delicious salad will be ready in no time. The only problem is you're gonna to wanna to make a little bit extra because it is addictive. When I tell you that I cannot stop eating this, Trust me when I tell you that because the same thing is gonna to happen to you. It's so refreshing, so good. Time to go in, but before I go in, let me say this. Now, I did start off mixing this with a spatula and then with two, um, what are they called? <laughs> two wooden spoons, but then I had to go in with my hands just to make sure that all of the cucumber slices and the radish slices were separate and covered in that creamy, delicious, yogurt tzatziki style sauce. So go ahead and don't be shy to go in there with your clean hands. And then after you're done, you could even drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of it. I mean, everything tastes better with a little bit of olive oil. And that's it. Keep it in your refrigerator. Serve it nice and cold next to any barbecue chicken or any, anything. Trust me, it just tastes good just like this as is. Throw some chickpeas in here and have it for lunch. But anyway, I'm gonna go in and give it a taste. Mmm. I don't know if you could hear the shameless crunching going on over here. <laughs> Fresh, creamy, bright, herby, just delicious. Perfect for the summer. Go ahead, go on over to the website and print this recipe. It's at www.demetriusdishes.com. And as always, the written recipe is underneath this video in the description box. Let me know what you think. If you make it, share pictures with me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, yes.